Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do number 32, season 2, episode 5. So last episode, found out that there's a plot to build a droid factory on Geonosis, so kind of expecting that we're going to go do something about that droid facility. So with that, let's roll it. Believe in yourself or no one else will. Well, that's kind of true. Separatist leader Pogo the Lesser, safe in his newly ray shielded factories creates thousands of terrible new weapons which march Doesn't off the look assembly much like line a against factory. the outnumbered clone army. The Jedi, resolute in their effort to restore Ooh, yeah. order to the Republic, mount a Bring massive force. invasion to retake Geonosis. I cannot believe we're back here again. Oh, Kiadi Mundi. unfortunate. You're late. The Sorry, factory in episode so two was shut down. This must be a resurgence of that, so we're coming you. back again. Yeah. When you hey, say kills, do you mean droids? Master. Nothing to worry about. What I worry about is the way this war seems to be drawing out, which is why it is crucial our invasion of Genosis needs well, it's an entire galaxy, Obi-Wan. Our ships are in position, and we are ready to begin our campaign against the Genosians. And what about Puff? It's a strange it's ring. It's like it uh, offset a little bit. Primary droid foundry here. And we'll meet at the rendezvous point. So you're just flying in from different angles. Not forced down <laughs> away from the landing zone. Their front lines are heavily fortified. Look at that giant wall with all the gun emplacements. That won't be easy to get past. Hmm. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere near that. Come now. We'll what see. All the enthusiasm I saw earlier. Yeah, we'll Don't see. Worry about us. All right, gentlemen. So I'm assuming this droid factory's already been producing droids for a while, so we're gonna face a pretty strong droid resistance down here, or are we fighting the actual Geonosians? Oh, you didn't miss much. Last time I was chained to a pole and attacked by several humongous monsters. That sounds entertaining. It was. Yeah, it was for the Geonosians. <laughs> Looked like a scene out of Gladiator or something. Okay, so it is the Geonosians attacking. So they had these, Count Dooku had one of those fighters in the movie, or those Geonosian crafts then. We all ready, Rex? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's do Get this. He's already underway. Good luck, General. There is no such thing as luck. It's only the force. We just learned that in Battlefront. <laughs> I don't know, I think you're going to need a l little luck as well. Good thing those bugs can't aim. The... Man. Just thick. Uh, going down. Man, should have known you were going to crash when Anakin boarded. Come on, get up! We have to keep moving! Are you on the wrong side of the enemy line, though? Come on. Oh man, this is pretty intense. Get the tanks on the ground, now. Oh, Kiati Mundi's not even gonna make it. We're hit. Man, We're going, thank God go. they can't aim, right? Somebody said right before they died. Man, this is not going good at all. What are our losses, Captain? We got hit pretty hard. Yeah, pretty I think bad. Only Kenobi's forces made it through the flak to the landing zone. Load the engine onto the tanks. I like the we'll gold and black uh, luck, we can meet up with uniforms here. Is that just Kiari Mooney's special group? The bugs are splitting up. Four, reporting his orders, sir. Waxer reporting his orders, sir. Our two best, right? If I recall. Come on, guys. I'm gonna have to learn the different. I guess there are different divisions here. My glad to see you. Trapper and I are the only ones still alive. The bugs are on the move and trying to surround us. Yeah, so these must be one division of troops. Um, the black and gold one's a different one. Are you injured, General? Oh, no, he looks it. too serious. What's the situation here? We've got no air cover. The enemy was more than prepared for our attack, sir. 
They knew, I they knew you were coming, yeah. Oh. So I wonder if Palpatine would have been willing to have um, Anakin die here over this whole situation. I mean, obviously he's cultivating Anakin, but you know, what does he expect of him to live through every uh, bad situation he throws him into? Have you located General Skywalker's position? We think he's somewhere along the eastern barrier. That's not a barrier. It's a fortress. Oh, so, like Ahsoka said, we're gonna go right after that thing, huh? Oh, well, here are the droids. I have to agree, Ahsoka. You were supposed to study the hollow maps. I did! Remember when I reminded you yeah. about the giant wall? And you said, don't worry, Smith. We won't be anywhere near that. That's Get pretty much it verbatim. I can attest to that. So we're gonna go through this underground uh, cave here. What are your instincts telling you here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a wind vibration up ahead. Man, this whole show so far, I don't know if there's been a scene without people shooting in it. Why did you come this way? How you guys are gonna get surrounded so down far? there. Ah, uh, you're falling behind. Let's go! <laughs> you didn't say your number, Anakin. I'm kind of wondering what it is. Focus on the droids on the top of the wall! I hope you got backup coming soon, because this ain't looking good at all. Oh, what did Rex walk right through the thing? Okay, nice. It's just for energy weapons. Come on, Rex. Up and away. Um. Wow, don't do that again. <laughs> Next time, just tell me to jump. Now, where's the fun in that? Come on, exactly. We can't keep Obi Wan waiting. You better hope somebody's coming to your rescue here. Well, if you had flamethrowers, why didn't you use them before? Look, what's that? <laughs> A bunch of burning. Bugs coming flying out of a hole. Admiral, Let's send, uh, yeah, to get some fighters bring down people here. down here. You're out of luck, General Skywalker. I have one squadron available. Did he say you're out of luck or you're in luck? I've got one available. You better hurry, Admiral. Obi Wan, you're looking pretty ragged. You are hurting. Oh, yeah, of course, it's going to be even more intense once they get inside the shield. Oh, man, this is people just getting flown away. Wouldn't even want to know what they'd do if you, uh, I guess, string you up and let you get eaten by animals if you're a prisoner. Stand their scanners. Joy popper, ready. <laughs> won't kill the dro won't kill the insects, but get rid of their weapons momentarily. Take them down. Nice. Okay, so that was the transmitter, that little muddy spike-looking thing, right? That was their actual shields. Yep. Good job. Nice plan, Obi Wan. Wow, that didn't seem like a likely outcome for most of the episode. Fifty-five. That's my count. And you? Sixty. Looks like I won. Yeah. <laughs> but I call in the airstrike. Tie. You're impossible. Yeah. I'll never understand how you can simplify these battles into some kind of game. Sixty-five, Skywalker. <laughs> um, sorry? My total. 
65. So what do I win? <laughs> Good for you, Kiai Mundi. <laughs> My everlasting respect, Master Mundi. Good oh, answer, Anakin. That is a gift Anakin rarely bestows. Good answer. Well, everyone, that was a really good episode. I think you guys know that I really like the uh, episodes that have battles in them, and this one was pretty intense battle all the way from start to finish. Didn't even seem likely that the good guys, if you will, were going to win in the end, but they eventually did and um, still have the droid factory left to deal with, but they can actually get at it now. So Obi-Wan uh, Obi Kenobi and uh, Kiari Mundi on their way back home to... Uh, recoup from some minor injuries but Anakin's left with Ahsoka left behind uh, to go take out the factory so looking forward to that one please give a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time